what's up YouTube Jeremiah Hersey here welcome back to the next PL 300 test prep question today we're going to be talking about changing your data source settings so let's say that you have a Power BI report built the data is loaded into the Power BI desktop but you get a notification that your file has changed paths now we did a previous video where we talked about the actual error that occurs when that happens but today we're going to be talking about how to change that data source file path in the ways that we can access that through the Power BI desktop and through the Power Query editor as well so we're going to start off today in the Power BI desktop where I have a file that's been loaded into the desktop once it's loaded you can still build visuals but when you go to refresh that's where the error occurs so let's go ahead and get started so here I am in the Power BI desktop. You can see that I have my data loaded into my visualization area. And so right now, because the data has been loaded, it is static, it's living inside this Power BI file. Now, if I go to refresh this, we're going to get an error. So I'm gonna go ahead and click refresh here at the top. Notice that we get this error, could not find the file. So that's because my file path has moved location. So let's look at some of the ways that we can change the way that this file path is being accessed. And so the first is up here at the top under transform data. If you click the transform data drop down, you're gonna see this option for data source settings. So you'll have the option to change the data source settings directly from the Power BI desktop. So notice here I have my source and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click down here at the bottom change source. So this is going to allow me to change the file path to point to the correct location. So I'll hit change source and then a UI is going to pop up to allow me to browse to go to the proper location of that file. So that's the first way to change that file path is inside of the data source settings from the Power BI desktop. Now the other way is to do this from inside the Power Query Editor. So I'm going to click Transform Data and go inside the Power Query Editor. So we see that data source error. We've talked about that in a previous video. So it says it can't find the file path and it also gives us the details of where that file path originally was as well. So there's a couple ways that we can change this. The first is to go to the source step over here in the applied step section. So if you look on the right hand side, we can change the source step here. So if I change the source step and I add the file path location, so this is called new folder. you're gonna see that it now fixes that data source error. So you can do it directly from the formula bar here and that will fix it. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that back just so you can see the other way to change it as well. So going back to where this error is located, we could also go inside of the advanced editor here at the top. So under the home tab, you'll see advanced editor. The other way to get to the advanced editor is to go to the view tab and we're going to select advanced editor from here at the top so we can also change that file path directly inside of here as well so you'll see the location on my C drive my local drive here so I could also change that here and type in the new folder that I put it in and it will fix that file path as well so there's several ways to change the file path location, the data source settings, the advanced editor, or the formula bar inside of the Power Query Editor. Now, I do wanna talk about some of the things that we're gonna see in the question here today. So if you go to File and Options and Settings and Options here, you're gonna see options related to the file. And so if you look down here at the bottom, you're gonna see the current file and I'm gonna specifically talk about the data load. So if I select the data load, this allows you to determine for the current file how you want Power BI to interact. Type detection, so detect column types and headers for unstructured sources. Uh, create relationships automatically if it finds a match. 
We also have the auto date time, which essentially creates a calendar for any column that it finds dates in. And we also have our background data allowing the preview to download in the background and the parallel loading of tables. So um, that's loading tables at the same time. And we also have the Q&A feature, which essentially allows you to ask a question about your data. Think of it kind of like Googling your data. Those are the options under the data load. So just wanted to make you aware because we're going to see that in the question here. So let's go ahead and take a look at our test prep question. The question says you have a PBIX file that imports data from a Microsoft Excel data source stored in a file share on a local network. You are notified that the Excel data source was moved to a new location. You need to update the PBIX file to use the new location. What are three ways to achieve this goal? So as always, let's look at some of the important pieces of information here. First and foremost, that we are accessing this from a local network. That means from inside the Power BI desktop. So this data has been loaded into this PBIX file, as we saw with the previous example. So you're still gonna be able to build visuals. The error will occur when you go to refresh that data. We're also told that it is a Microsoft Excel data source as well. And so the things that we have to identify are three ways to achieve the goal of updating the file using the new location. So that's our goal here is to choose three ways to update the file path with the new location where that file is being stored at. So let's look at option A, from data set settings in the Power BI service, configure the data source credentials. Well, it told us that we are on a local network. So that means that we are accessing data from our desktop or laptop. And so we're not actually inside the service at this point. So we're gonna go ahead and eliminate option A because option A is dealing with the Power BI service and the data source credentials allow us to access a data source, but that's not gonna configure the file path to access the information. This is just your credentials to log in. Option B says from the data source settings in the Power BI desktop, configure the file path. That is definitely an option. We saw that that was the first thing that we did in the example. So we click the transform data dropdown. We chose data source settings and we could change that file path. Option C says, from the current file in the Power BI desktop, configure the data load settings. Well, we looked at the data load settings and that does not give us the option to modify the file path. That just gives us different options about detecting relationships and column types and Q&A, things of that nature. So this is not going to be the correct answer. Option D says from the Power Query Editor, use the formula bar to configure the file path. We did that in the previous example. That's definitely an option. And from the Advanced Editor in the Power Query Editor, configure the file path in the M code. That's what we did as well. So these are gonna be the three correct answers here. Change the data source settings from the Power BI desktop and configure the new path. From the Power Query Editor, we can use the formula bar to configure that file path, or we can use the advanced editor inside the Power Query to configure that file path as well. I wanna thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.